Um, right, I bought this unit today because the new Windows update has stopped my microphone working. Now, I had an old sound card, I know, but I wanted something to replace it. And just to add, this is the equipment I used to use before the latest Windows, Windows update. The latest Windows update made this piece of equipment here, which is my Creative XFI unit, um, which had everything I needed on it, including microphones and stuff like that, for making game capturing brilliant, was on here. It had, it ha it's got all the opticals, it had everything I needed. This was rendered completely useless after the 1803 Windows update. Uh, Sound Blaster Creative XFI Elite, the Elite Pro. If you have this card, after the 1803 update, you can no longer use the mic through this through this piece of equipment. It totally disables this. The, nothing works except for the audio through. It's as if it turns this into something else, and there is no fix for it because there are no drivers. So I used to use this, and I also used to use this to control the phantom power and to control all of the other parts that I had running in the system. So, I'll show you. I love this. This is probably the best thing I ever bought. Loved it. And I'm, oh, I wish I didn't have to just not use it. As you can see, the XLR's in and the jack's in and the power. This turns a normal microphone with phantom powered into a usable microphone for a PC. Without this, the microphone is just silent and very quiet. Anyway, quick jump in just to show you this. These are now no longer used, so it's a shame. Anyway, back to the video. So, okay, I bought this. The reviews online with it were fantastic. And I really liked them, so I thought, right, I'll give it a shot. It's, it's an awkward camera. The Bringha Euphoria UM2. Mic input, instrument input, direct monitor, and headphone jack. But there's a problem. I use um, gaming software to record my videos. S specifically, I use the GeForce uh, software and I run Windows 10. Now, when I plug this in, it only records on the left channel because this is a 2v2. Now, I didn't know that. I, I thought... That'd be one channel, that'd be one channel, but they'd both be mono channels. But they're not. They're not. They share. They actually share a stereo channel. So a stereo channel comes from here. This one is phantom powered. This one is not. But the internals are connected and they share a channel. That one you can even take a jack. So while there's a jack to jack there, they're identical. But... You plug a mic in there, and it's only one channel. Plug that instrument in there, and it's one channel. This is no good for what I need it for. So, as you can see, i got a few bits out. We are going to mod this today. I know you can do this in software, but I want it done hardware, so that I don't have to worry about it. I can just plug this in and play with it, and literally just get on with what I'm going to do. Okay. Okay, right. I think it goes without saying that the video you're, just, you're about to watch, you, you take your own risks. You do this at your own risk. Um, I've done this before in the past to amplifiers and stuff, and I generally have the right sort of idea of where to go. I did a, quite a bit of research going into it to make sure that um, where I was going on the board was about right. Um, yeah, so... You watch this, it's for entertainment. If you want to copy it, it's up to you. But I take no responsibility for any damage caused. I'm an idiot. Don't be like me. Be like someone else who's not an idiot. Yeah, great. Anyway, 
This is future self speaking to past self. Speak to you soon. So, this is what we're going to do. I'll show you it run. I'll show you it running. Excuse my excuse my squeaky chair. It's really old, but I love it. Here's my mic. This this goes across to my microphone, which is behind me. Plug that in there. And this is the USB cable that goes into the back of my computer, which goes into there. Once I do this, everything will start lighting up. Now, let me zoom in careful on this. As you can see, the power light is on. Just about see. And the 48 volt phantom power is on. Right. So if I if I turn my mic up, can you see it? The signal is clip and clip on this side. So it's hard to see because of the light, but there we are. One, two, one, two. So it doesn't happen on the other side. One, two, one, two. Now I'll do a little recording of that later to let you know what it looks what it sounds like. One, two. One, two, one, two. This, this is the test of the mic before modding. Oh, yeah, out of focus, it looks better, look. See? One, two, but not this side. One, two. Right. Okay, right, so this is the setup. I want this to work as a mono channel without changing software to make it mono. I want it to be physically mono. I, I don't want to mess with software. I want it to be bang on straight away. As soon as I switch it on, it's activated. So let, let's get on it. Let's, let's mod this. Right, sorry about all the jump cuts. The I'm not very good with this camera at the moment and I'm learning. So let's get on. First off, we go off to unplug all this and unplug the mic so that the unit's on its own. And we could take the cables and plug them in later. So I'll just leave them there for now. Get yourself a screwdriver and I always put a little magnet on the end of the screwdriver like that so we don't lose our screws. <laughs> little top tip. Yeah, right. So, oh yeah, take these off first and put them to one side. We'll be needing them later. Okay, right. So, take the four screws out. Take the four screws out of there and then I'll come back. Okay, so the four screws are out. So the unit now hasn't got the things on the top and it hasn't got the screws. So, a little bit more room. Now, the t unit cracks apart like this. So be careful of this one because there's a clip in it. So you have to like wingle and wangle it and it will unclip like that. But you gotta be careful because you don't want to break that clip. That's it. And it just falls apart into a few pieces. All plastic, but uh, what do we expect? It's not gonna be any different, really. So, this is the unit. Close them out. I need a new camera. Okay, this is the unit. Now, as we can see here, we have all our inputs, and this is the bypass. Now, if we take a look underneath here, we can see that the 
auto jack here is a multi jack and it shares a phantom power supply and the power supply comes up from up here now I'm not massively into electronics but I do know that this phantom power supply is being stepped up from the 5 volt that you're getting on on the on the USB connector there now we have three pots here one is volume on this one gain really that one gain that one volume that one only comes into effect when this is when this is pressed like that so we don't have to worry about that right now so let's turn it over now after doing a bit of investigation on this and checking up on a few things uh, looking up how some things are wired and some are not it's fairly fairly easy now you've got the three lines of pots there they all share a single channel going through the center which is here somewhere now like i said i'm not an electrician i don't really know much about these things i used to do a bit when i was younger but <laughs> i've lost a lot of it now it's obviously a digitally controlled amp because the only one that i can see here is that's different and these are all individuals so i don't i'm not so sure anyway let's let, let's show you what to do so and close it's as close as my camera will go sorry okay now then oh yeah let's clean that up the one we're interested in is this part here because this is the one that takes the input from this side and splits it now this this one comes along here and splits this one it, it's double poled because it's got power and it's got uh, output as well so what we want to do is we want to join these two channels which are in one amplifier then being split electronically into the output of the USB we want to merge them back to be mono again now the way we could do this is on a, st a stereo amplifier or a car amp is what I've done this in in the past to make it a mono block is this could be considered one side of the volume control knob and this and this could be considered the other side with the with this being power and this being power as well isolated from each other so we can't go off this one simply because we can't pass 48 volt across this line it just won't work and we can't come across this one because then the mic uh, the headphone jack won't work and we don't want that either so what we need to do is we need to find and track back the input to this side of the jack back to where it rejoins the controllers here which is that between those two now there's a nice easy way to do this and what we can do is we can take god it's really small this resistor which is I think yellow black brown gold I'm not very good with the colors so let's meter it okay mm -hmm. and that's the ohm value now the reason I want to put this there is because I don't want to cause any feedback or earth looping so we want to take a piece of tubing 
any tubing will do really but whatever makes it pretty and we want to measure it out so yeah and typical I forgot my scissors jump cut magic looking scissors hmm. it'll do the job take a piece of sweet drink like this and you want to put this like that so do it a little bit on each side so cut that out like that you want to put that all the way in there and you want to heat this up yes I know not supposed to use light does Mind, does a job. Okay, so we now have a sealed resistor. So let's trim off the ends. Okay, now then, another little thing I bought. A, U, a USB driven soldering iron. This thing is amazing. I run on a power bank and it's just fantastic. Fantastic. Love this thing. So we need some solder. Lots of solder. And what we are looking at, as close as I can go with this camera, is this point here there that one what we want to do is get the soldering to work tiny bit of solder there only tiny and that's what he got some so. So what we want to do now, we want to put the one side of this on. That's all the line's gone off. Like that. And we want to take this. It's all fingers and hands here. It's so easy to do when there's nobody watching. Yet it's so hard to do when everyone is. Bring it up close now so you can see. Turn my soldering in off. That's how I turn it off, lol. Even though that's probably not how you're supposed to do it, but that's how I do it. Okay, how close can I get this before? So if you look, I've gone from there, which goes through the via to the feed resistor, which is there, to the other side of the amplifier, which is on this side, so it's joining both sides together. Now, let's, let's test this now and see if this works. It's a really simple mod, it's ridiculously simple. It's so easy, it's ridiculous. 
and, it, and this will not affect the audio quality. Yes, you could technically push these up too far now because now these are no longer individual input controllers. These are one channel, so they both feed onto each other. So if you have both of these on full, it will give you quite a lot of volume coming out, which will distort and go all over the place. Okay. Okay, right. Now then, sorry about that. Let's power this up. So, plug that in. Does this test? Overdrives, phantom power's on, and power's on. Now this is not going to hurt me, this is just a small 48 volt upscale from there, the amperage is very small. Right, let's plug the mic in. Turn all the volumes down, the gain's down to zero. Let's plug the mic in. Now, as you can see, the both mic things are low so if we come close you'll be able to see better right gotta watch where my fingers are now because it will make a difference now so let's turn up the mic one two right no one Right. One, two, one, two, one. As you can see, it's starting to clip on one side. So we just keep voluming it till we get the same. There, like that. Now then, if one side's too much, we reduce it so that they match. Now it's a stereo input mic. So now no longer do you have to worry about having one channel running through to the computer and having to bridge it to be mono or bridge it in software later or do some post editing. All you have to do is just put it on and it just does the job. And it does not affect the output for the headphone jack, the art stays normal and it does not affect the output for the speakers in the back either they stay the same everything stays the same the only difference is you converted it from one channel to to a, a twin channel single mic instead of having it as two now as i was saying earlier you can turn this up too much as you can with most mics but it's worse now so if i turn it up too much oh there there and it's now all distorted as you can see, it's way over and it's volume controllable there and there. Obviously, this this one that controls this one is primary, so it will always be the one that drops them both. But what you need to do is you need to get this one to a good spot. So set your levels with this. One, two, like that. And then match it with this one until this one obviously gives you the same result on the other side just about the same there job done and that's it such a simple mod so simple let me unplug this such a simple mod god my chair so squeaky so all we gotta do now is put it back together again just a quick check, just for you to look again. It's nice and safe there now. It's not going to touch anything. It's job done. Right, let's put it back in its box. And it still fits. It still fits nice. And you don't have to worry about the size of it. Let's get rid of these. So, as you can see, still fits in the box good. Now, putting this back on, just remember there was clips here and here. Put it in first as 
close as you can like that and it'll hold on just a little bit so just be careful with the next part because this is this has clips of the side so you want to be as careful as you can with this one where are we uh, my mistake right around like that job done and as you can see they're not that far off if we put this in here where it should go this one where it should go if you look at those two just about see them the dot is there and the dot is there they're almost identical showing that the channel is nice and balanced between each other and you don't have to worry about the 48 volts going through and messing anything up so leave them as they are for a minute okay the screws back you didn't see me take the screws out just now I thought it would be boring but uh, I'll show you putting them back in. The problem with having big hands, they've got big feet. <laughs> no, they get in the way and you can't see very well. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm no big Clive and I'm no back office. This is my first technical video of doing this sort of thing. I don't do this very often, simply because, <laughs> can't you tell? Okay, one more test, just to make sure it's good. Plug in the adapter. Wait for them to activate, should all go off. Plug in the microphone. One, two. Okay, this is the microphone after I've done the modification. It is now using both channels as one single input and you can hear, if you have a stereo setup right now, you can hear that left channel and right channel are the same. This, this is the test of the mic before modding. After I've done the modification. Before modding. After I've done the modification. There we are, and now it is a dual mono channel microphone that you don't have to mess around with in software, which you can still control on the top here and here individually, so you could still, if you wanted to, put different things on. And I'm pretty certain you could take this out and put uh, a jack in there and it would do exactly the same thing for the other side. Because the channels now are connected, it doesn't matter which one of these you plug into, they'll both take over. I'm not so sure about having both of these used. I generally don't, so I only use the one at a time. But this is all I want anyway. The direct monitor will still work, the headphones will still work, and the outputs here will still output the proper what you get there. Because another fact is, the outputs here are actually the mono version of this we just created but built in all we done is we tapped into it to make it what they make it that way so yeah anyway that is the Beringer I don't know how do you say that Beringer the Beringer Euphoria UM2 modification to make it a single channel one input instead of a 2v2 anyway Thanks for watching. Sorry if the video was pretty rubbish. I'm not very good at doing these. This is my first one. But number one, number one. So, thank you for watching. And thank you to the people who inspired me to get this done. And thank you to the back office show as well for telling me that I should do one eventually. Here you go. I've done one. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Peace. Yeah.